this is me running late to my gate. I um I didn't wake up late, but I left late. <laughs> so let's try and make it. Welcome to my vlog slash one month or longer review of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now in the month of February, I traveled a lot. This was a flight I took to San Diego for a special event and I got on the plane really late. I, I was actually the last person to get on my flight. But this video is all about the S23 Ultra and most of the footage you see will be from the S23 Ultra unless otherwise stated. And I'll let you know what I'm shooting at, right? It's 8K, 4K, my experience using the device. You're gonna hear from myself and other people. You're gonna see what I've captured, all that fun jazz. But I can tell you, it was really cool using this device to make this video. So I landed in San Diego and uh, right now I'm shooting at 8K, 30 frames per second. And one of the things I like with the new 8K is just the stabilization you get from 8K, especially over what we got last year. Now, this is the front-facing camera, and you're gonna notice this shot from the very first shot we saw is quite different because there's a lot of light, and it does well in direct sunlight or good lighting situations. Uh, and you can see here, Daniel's trying to block away the sun. It was pretty bright that day. But I continued shooting an AK here again, heading to our Uber, and being able to do this on a smartphone is truly impressive. I kind of like that, but what I really want to show you is just some of what I did in the hotel and also what I shot in San Diego. Okay, checked into the hotel. Uh, let's give you a quick tour. Cameras, this is the layout. I've got two beds, even though it's just me here in the room. Um, I've got a nice big desk, TV, sizable. Don't have a really good view. And then this is the bathroom. Kind of nice. Simple, straightforward. I do like when they have all your toiletries, like, you know, your shampoo and stuff right there. Makes it easier so you don't have to carry. But I can't tell you what I'm doing in San Diego. You see it on the channel at some point. But let's head over to the next spot, or at least the next place we go to. All right, the cat's out of the bag. I was trying to be slick. It is the Sony X90L. I was supposed to drop this video earlier, but I didn't anyway. Moving back to the S23 Ultra, I really like the device. You've got a very vibrant display and the hardware feels really solid. It's, it's a Note. It's a Galaxy Note in the truest form. The S Pen is fantastic. I love using it on a daily basis and I like the way it functions overall. And I think a lot of people who are Note users will gravitate to this. Being able to just remote control your device, taking photos, um, just you know, using it in different functionalities, as well as also the gaming aspect. We know we've got some really great hardware with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, uh, great performance on there. So honestly, uh, it's solid so far and I've really enjoyed the experience, but let's get back to our trips because I have another one coming up. So I'm traveling again and this time, my TSA pre-check didn't work, so I had to go through the regular line. And in front of me is Faye. There she is. Probably wondering where I was. So you're probably wondering where I was. Oh, okay. All right, we are heading to the Polaris Lab. The Polaris Lounge at EWR is a really cool lounge, great views if you're an Av geek, um, and just great interior. I didn't record much of the lounge because we were in a hurry, we wanted to get some food, but uh, I got to meet somebody there who you'd like. I'm here with uh, Mr. Winget, yes, sir. fake smile. Anyway, where, <laughs> where are we heading to? To London. Uh, for a phone. For a phone, okay. Some type of phone. Well, you're watching this video, um, You'll see the you see on our socials on the channels what device we talked about. But we're chilling in the Polaris Lounge, and uh, I'm shooting everything in this video, or at least almost everything with the S23 Ultra. Let's see how it is. But we'll flip back to Danny. He's finished all his food. I'm already done. All right, so we're running to the gate. I cannot run. We're just walking. But anyway. The S23 Ultra is doing pretty well. Battery life has been spot on. Yeah, so Danny, 
battery life. It's been good so far, man. I think it's actually better than S22 Ultra. Oh, by far, by far. Yeah. Yeah, battery life is really impressive and we are about to board our flight. One thing I do like about the S23 Ultra's battery life is how long it lasts. From 9 a.m. in the morning, actually for me it's like 7, till about 1 a.m. in the next day. So I can run fully with this device. And yes, Danny's a bit cranky because 9, almost 10 a.m. here and we made it to the UK. Danny's still alive and wishing him a happy birthday. Yeah, he's an old man now, so FYI. Happy birthday, buddy. I know we celebrated your birthday, but just letting everyone know. One thing I like about the S23 Ultra is being able to shoot 4K30 and swap between the front and the rear cameras, but the imagery looks so great. We got to explore a lot of London, jump on the tube, uh, and uh, go to different places, have some really fun dinners and drinks. But we came here to see our buddy, Tom the Tech Chap. That's all we came here to do. Actually, we came to see him and of course the Oppo Find N2 Flip, which is what he's working on right now. Besides seeing Tom, one of the other things I really enjoyed was shooting in 8K in low light conditions with the S23 Ultra and taking advantage of those extra pixels to capture as much light in the seat. Yes, he's preparing a miniature taco for my drink. I mean, drink is called the Mexican or Mexican. Um, really good drink and yes they make about 700 of those mini tacos uh every day at the bar the bar is called tender in the uk uh it's in the shortage area if you're ever there but yes drinks were great and also you know it was cool to just be able to capture this kind of content pretty clearly and well um, here's just some images of the drinks as well. I can't remember what the other drink was, but we also got some really good ramen and this was delicious. It was nice and spicy. I like my ramen spicy and also it just tasted really good. Uh, some more shots again with the S23 Ultra, low light conditions. You can see how much it just captures the scene and, and takes it in pretty well. Uh, of course, more gin drinks since we're in the UK and got to see some of our YouTube buddies we haven't seen in a while and also across the pond. Hi, Tommy. Oh, Tom, tell me what, <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? What is this? What, what building is this? That is house. No idea what this is. Oh, wait, the Royal no, Opera no, House. No, no, no. It's the Royal Opera House. Oh, oh, no one. Sh Not Oprah, Opera. Opera, Opera. I didn't say Oprah House. I'm sure you heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. <laughs> Ready? Go! And all the roads you have to walk a winding. Honestly, the trip was a blast and all that goofing around, but also doing work and meeting friends was great, but I have to head home. And again, boarding the plane, using the front and rear camera, I like that. I like you can swap that, but we got our seats and we're good to go because I had to come back and shoot this bad boy. This is the Hummer EV6. Now I'm shooting this with portrait video and look at how good it basically, you know, blurs the background and also, you know, you can see the car clearly. This thing is massive, by the way. It's a huge vehicle, uh, but it's an EV, uh, it's a Hummer. Uh, does zero to 60 in three seconds. This, can you believe it? A car this size doing zero to 60 in three seconds, it's got the crab walk, uh, you can use it off-road. But again, just look at how it you can capture Daniel there as well as also the Hummer quite clearly which is actually pretty cool now the other thing of course is you guys know that with the uh portrait video you can change the portrait styles while you're recording so you know i've got it in this kind of like vignettes colored but again daniel's still broken out i have the color pop once he comes back into the scene you can see him the glass kind of broke it there but you get the idea of what you can actually do with this thing it's great now the car interior is absolutely phenomenal it's great spacious this is the addition uh one and this car has some really nice trimming all around gorgeous looking car and the drive now the driving experience is one that you have to you just have to experience it yourself because it feels like you're driving a regular car not a not an suv or even a hummer it feels really really smooth great pickup uh acceleration and it's one of those things where 
it's so weird because you've got this massive space in the car you're driving around you're going i'm driving a hummer but it feels like i'm driving a sedan the turning radius in the car is great and just the feel again this is all captured with the s23 ultra uh, you know giving you just that internal look so the flexibility of this device is really good and i like what i'm getting just from all the different trips around but as i mentioned trip i had to make another trip this one i cannot talk about but i can talk about the flight and the plane it's my first time in a 7879 uh business class you can see in united polaris lots of space and if you know the 787 well they've got of course there's minor chromatic windows which you can hit a button to either shade it up or reduce that kind of stuff it doesn't go all the way dark but you get the idea with it and um but it's pretty cool though i enjoyed it and uh, it was a fun flight but i can't tell you what i went on this trip for because the contents isn't out yet but you get to see it at some point soon all right, guys, that was a fun ride. I took about four or five flights. I showed you about three of my flights here with the S23 Ultra across the globe, across the country. And you got to see how I use this device to capture, record, and also the kind of battery life I got from the S23 Ultra was pretty amazing. This doesn't feel like the S22 Ultra where I had to charge stuff on the plane. I had to make sure I had a charger with me. I don't feel that way anymore with this device and the power form and functionality is great with of course the new snapdragon 8 gen 2 for galaxy so i'm going to post this question to you guys what do you think of the s23 ultra if you've bought the device i want to know your thoughts what are the things you really enjoy you don't enjoy your general experience um otherwise guys leave your comments down below if you have any questions about anything i've covered some of the things i've shown uh even the hummer ev all that stuff leave them down below and always enjoy your entertainment